General, in your opinion, how much longer is this war going to last? Your Majesty, the Syrians have already surrendered. Mm -hmm. It will be but a short time before the Ammonites surrender. A week or three at the most. Oh, good. Then I'm going back to Jerusalem and leave the war up to you. I'm tired and weary. Anyway, you don't need me. You're an able and capable general. Thank you, Your Majesty. Shall I assign a special detail to escort you to Jerusalem? No, Joab. Just my armor bearer and champions will be enough. I'm going to do nothing but rest for a while. Good luck to you here, Joab. Let me know how the war progresses. I will, Your Majesty. Anything I can do, Master? No, no. I'm just restless. It's so warm inside. It's cooler up here on the roof. Uh, you may go. I'll be all right. Yes, Master. Good evening, Master. Uh, just a minute, just a minute. Yes, Master. Over there on that rooftop. Look at that beautiful woman. Who is she? I know not, Master. We'll go find out quickly. Quickly. Yes, yes, Master. Master. Yes, yes. Who is she? Her name, Master, is Bathsheba, the daughter of Eliam, the wife of Uriah the Hittite. Ah, she's already married. And to Uriah, one of my best and most gallant and faithful officers. Oh, well, I... I want you to go over there to her home and ask her to come here as soon as she can. Tell her that the king demands an audience with her. Yes, Master. <laughs> David had been successful in his battles and popular with his people. This honor and adulation were not without effect upon David. He began to feel that he was the important one. He forgot that he had been successful because he had followed God's leading. When the beauty of Bathsheba attracted David, he determined that he would have her, even if he must trample God's precepts in order to obtain his own selfish and lustful desires. Here, sit down, Bathsheba. I... Well, thank you, Your Majesty. No need to be frightened or nervous. Relax. No one will harm you. Well, it isn't every day that a humble subject gets summoned before her king. It isn't every day that a king has the pleasure of such beautiful company. Oh? <laughs> Kings have feelings, too, you know, just like any other man. And, if I may say so, you're one of the most beautiful women I have ever seen. Thank you, sir. But I... Well, I'd better go now. After all, I am married, and my husband... He's might... with Joab, fighting the Ammonites, isn't he? Yes, Your Majesty. Well, then he won't be home for a while. Probably not. I know he won't. He's been gone quite a while, and... Well, aren't you rather lonesome without him? Oh, indeed I am, Your Majesty. Well, I'm lonesome, too. So won't you stay and uh, <laughs> talk a while? Well, what will people think? And say... It matters only what the king thinks, and I am the king. <laughs> Don't you want to stay a while with me? I can have no desire except to please my king. Ah, good. <laughs> Slave, bring some refreshments. <laughs> ah, I think Bathsheba's a beautiful name. A beautiful name for a beautiful woman. <laughs> the evening, too, is beautiful. Send a messenger to the battlefront and ask General Joab to send Uriah here to me immediately. Uriah, the king sends for you. You will leave immediately. What does the king want of me? How would I know? Just do as he commands. Long live the king. Ah, oh, greetings, Uriah. How is General Joab and his officers and men? The battle, how is it? Oh, very fine, Your Majesty. Uh, to all the questions. <laughs> uh, the war goes especially well. Uh, General Joab expects the Ammonites to surrender any day now. Mm. And you, Uriah, how are you? Oh, tired, Your Majesty, and weary of the war like all the other soldiers. But otherwise, I'm fine, sir. You're one of my finest and most loyal officers. I thought, um... I thought I'd give you a rest from the war. Oh. So go to your home, Uriah, and rest. I'm sure you'll be glad to see your wife again, and she you. His Majesty is very thoughtful. I give your wife her king's greetings and blessing. You may go now, Uriah. Oh, long live the king. Oh, long live the king. Long 
long live the king. Good morning, Uriah. Did you sleep well? Oh, yes, sir, and thank you, sir. They tell me you did not go home as I bade you, but slept with the servants. Oh, king, the ark of God and the people of Israel dwell in tents. Joab and his men sleep in open fields. Why, then, should I go to the comforts of my home? Uh, Nay, your majesty, I cannot. Well, uh, <laughs> remain here for a few more days, Uriah, and rest. Then will I let you return to the battlefield. Scribe, one of my officers named Uriah is here in Jerusalem, awaiting my permission to return to the battlefield. Find him, will you, and bring him before me. <laughs> More wine, Uriah? Uh, yes. Yes, I could use another drink. <laughs> <laughs> now, will you go home and see your wife oh, and rest? No, no, Your Majesty. As, as long as my friends are fighting a war, I will not go home. Uh, they can't, <laughs> neither shall I. <sighs> you may return to the battlefield now, Uriah. When you go, will you take this letter I've written to General Joab? General, sir, here's a letter for you from the king. Thank you, Uriah. Joab, greetings. I want you to place the bearer of this letter, Uriah by name, in the hottest part of the battle. Then get you away from him, that he may be smitten by the Ammonites and die. I wonder why all this fuss about Uriah. Uriah, come hither, please. Yes, sir. The, uh... The king highly commends you for faithfulness and loyalty. I need a brave, courageous man right now at the walls of Rabba. Go there immediately and take charge of the fighting. Yes, sir. David, who at one time would not even harm the wicked king Saul because he was the Lord's anointed, had so forgotten God that he now desired to take the life of an innocent, upright man in order to satisfy his selfish desires. A little harder with that battering ram, men! Down with the walls of Rabba! Harder, men, and we... <laughs> sir, sir, you're hit! I'll carry you back to the rear. No. No. I'm dying, so pay no attention to me. Just get those walls down. Harder, harder with that ram! So, Your Majesty, General Joab wants you to know that the faithful Uriah fell and died heroically. Take word to Joab that he's not to worry about it. War devours one as well as another. Tell him to fight a little harder and overthrow Rabba. Yes, Your Majesty. Long live the king. Long live the king. Scribe, as soon as her time of mourning is past, send for the wife of Uriah. I would converse with her. <laughs> Sheba. Your husband died valiantly on the field of battle. I, uh, <laughs> or you're beautiful, and I would that thou become my wife. It's the least I can do for the widow of my most faithful officer. The king's least wish is my command. It would be an honor to be queen. <laughs> your queen. <laughs>